So everyone, I wanted to take you somewhere really special to us. Lexi, you already know where we are. It's actually the very place that four years ago today, she and I got married. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to The Cold Life. Well, it's at least morning when I'm recording this. Um, and I already know what you're thinking. Where's Lexi? How is he gonna start a video without her? What are we gonna do for a whole video without her natural luscious hair? Trust me, I've read all your comments too, and I know how you feel about her hair. Well, guess what, I agree. Her hair is luscious, it is natural, it is gorgeous, it is full, and it is just as beautiful as you all think it is in real life. But I think we can go one episode without it. It's a really important day to us. Today is actually our anniversary. So, Lexi, I am a officially hijacking our YouTube channel and I am posting this video you have no idea about it at least I don't think see I told you guys Lexi is amazing at finding out surprises like legitimately she knows everything so I'm pretty sure she may already know about this video before I even post it I'm really hoping I did my due diligence though it was very difficult I had to figure out how to work a camera how to steal her camera without her knowing how to figure out how to put a memory card in it uh, charge the battery find the broken little handle thingy so it's been a little challenge and I even had to turn off my find my friends location so that she wouldn't know where I was right now so it's been an ordeal but let's say she actually doesn't know about this then this is a surprise video because it is our anniversary today and I had to do something to allow you guys to share in with that but also to tell love my life from the bottom of my heart how I feel about her so we are gonna go on a brief walk and I'm gonna take you guys somewhere that means a lot to us. And while we walk, I'm gonna share a few things about this woman, Alexis Cole. Um, I would like to say my life would not be the same without this woman. She has truly changed not only my person, but even the experiences in life that I've had, the challenges in life that I've had. I would not be complete without her. I would not ever have had body massages without her. She introduced me to massages. I mean, I was scared of them. I felt it was weird. It was strange that someone else is touching me. And um, I didn't know if I felt comfortable with that. But this woman made me go get my first massage and it was phenomenal. And I will never look back. Oh my God. The countless of massages I've had since that time, baby, that's all you and I appreciate you. Number two, I would not be eating sushi. She properly introduced me to sushi. See, my old boss tried to get me to eat sushi, but he put like that, that full on uncooked salmon right on top of the big old sushi. And I ate it and almost choked and threw up. So I vowed to never eat sushi again. But this woman, this woman saved me. She properly introduced me to sushi and I am grateful for you, baby. Thirdly, Grey's Anatomy. If it weren't for you, babe, I wouldn't admit Grey's Anatomy and McDreamy and all those guys, they're a part of my family now. And that is an amazing show. So I am grateful for your pain. But in all seriousness, my wife is the most caring person that I could ever know. She is the most beautiful person. Mom, you are close second though, I love you. My wife is the most beautiful person in the world and she deserves the entire world from me. As a husband, everything I can possibly give her, I wanna give her. So everyone, I wanted to take you somewhere really special to us. Lexi, you already know where we are. This is actually the very place that four years ago today, she and I got married. This is it, this is the community house, downtown Birmingham. Now it looked a little different four years ago on this very day. You know, a little more done up. There actually used to be a bunch of bushes here. Nice little greenery. But this is the place that I stood. Beautiful Birmingham. And that's where I saw my future wife walking down the aisle. This is where we shared the moment with our friends and family. Everyone that we loved was here celebrating with us. And it was just absolutely beautiful. So yesterday I was actually listening to the song that she walked down the aisle to. Uh, a song by Brian McKnight, The Rest of My Life. 
and no babe i know they played the wrong brian mcknight song by accident but that's okay because it was beautiful anyway and so i was listening to this song literally tears are coming to my eyes like i'm about to cry like a little baby because i just remember the weight of that moment of seeing you walking down this aisle turning that corner and seeing your face just for the first time that day knowing that you were walking down the aisle to become my wife and i was given the privilege and honor to be your husband to be responsible for you and to honestly more than anything the mo most thing that excited me was not trips that we'd spend together was not financial success was not you know anything else it was just the time that we would spend together because there is no one that can push pull understand me more than you you are everything to me in that moment realizing that you were going to become one with me was just the most powerful moment of my life the most powerful and impactful moment and and i just look forward even from this point on knowing that the last four years have been incredible the last four years have been amazing there's been ups downs good bad but god our marriage is phenomenal to me and i love it but what makes me more excited is the time that i know we're about to spend together the rest of our lives like there's a lyric in that song there's a line that says it says if you think this is as good as it's gonna get you ain't seen nothing yet and that's how I feel. If you really think this is as good as it's gonna get, you ain't seen nothing. We got a whole lifetime ahead of us of just time that we can spend together, moments that we're gonna create, building our family, building our house uh, together, our home, our future. I can't wait to be old with you on rocking chairs talking about them young kids these days. Like, I can't wait. I can't wait for that. I'm excited to spend that time with you and be with you. So, baby, uh, today I want to do something that maybe I should have waited till our fifth anniversary. I don't know. I want to actually reread my wedding vows to you to remind you just how special you are and remind you just exactly what my intentions are with you for the rest of our lives. This is me in my journal at the time attempting to write my vows. As you can see, there are many marks, and I tried over and over and over again even the morning of my wedding to perfect them until one day I got it right so I may get a little emotional because uh, this means a lot to me but baby this is for you to my wife the journey that has led us here today has been a long one filled with many peaks and many valleys we built a foundation on friendship finding commonality in our values beliefs personalities aspirations and lifestyles we have learned how to navigate life together. We have grown together and matured together. We have rehearsed love and sacrifice, practiced patience, forgiveness, and understanding. We have captured the good moments and learned from the bad. We have overcome daunting challenges and resolved issues many people will never have to face. Our story is not a fairy tale, but it is one that depicts the essence of true love, the hard work and dedication that unconditional love requires. We have gazed into the depths of one another and seen the core of our beings. We have determined that God has designed and created us perfectly for one another. You have helped me discover a dynamic of greatness in myself that I never recognized on my own. You have refined the qualities God placed in me, inspired me to be the man I am today, and have completely transformed my life forever. I see God in you. Through you, I experience his love. I feel his peace. Find his strength and I celebrate with his joy. You are everything to me. Today you become my wife and I'm grateful to be given responsibility for you. I'm honored to serve you and I am ready to commit my entire life to you. So Alexis, I vow to have enormous faith, lead by example and cover you spiritually to protect and build our family legacy for generations to come. I will always be your best friend and I commit to being spontaneous, having a passion for life and never missing moments. I used to think I was a great man because of the extravagant things I did for you, but now I promise to pay attention to the details, to remember to do the small things, to notice what makes you happy and sad, and to perfect the quality of our union. I promise to always kiss you goodnight, forgive quickly, engage you with intimacy, connect with you emotionally, and to give love in a way you will receive it. I vow to be a man of God, confident, pure, faithful, optimistic, and strong. I promise to be an incredible father, one who governs with love and our children's best interest in mind. I will support you, 
build with you, value your opinion, never let my dreams overshadow yours, and never stop learning and growing with you. You are a priceless gift, and I will remind you of your value and tell you how beautiful you are every day. I love you with everything that I am, your husband. These words couldn't be truer today any more than they were four years ago today. And I will commit to doing every single thing that I have promised to do from here on out for the rest of our days. I love you, sweetheart. Happy anniversary. I can't wait to see you later. Bye.